Now I put the gloves, I stated, always avoid, avoid to touch the chrome bezel with hands, it, you will leave finger trips, tips, so it's then very difficult to clean, you are risking to peel the chrome, that's why you should avoid any contact with the chrome bezel. I will use fiber cloth and you can if you find for drying you can use napkins or although it's very strange you can use also multiply soft toilet paper the thing is that you have to touch the chrome bezel very gently let's see what will happen never never push too hard never just have a patient never push too hard this is the key If you need, you will pass 100 times, but the key is that don't push it hard. So far, good. If you notice anywhere that it begins to peeling out, just stop it. It's better to, rem to have a small defect instead of risking the whole chrome bezel. So far, good. Avoid contact even with clothes. This is a wet towel that I am using. So far really good. Yes, I think job is done. Now with the dry side. Of 
course there are some uh, marks from the previous dirt that are have been there maybe for years but it's not that crucial it's barely noticeable but after all this is a used headlight and you cannot even notice it after fitment now the most difficult part i guess has been completed with success yes let me put it aside the next challenge is the dirt at the indicator section although I have a reserve one from the Dunner headlight I will try to clean it without leaving substantial marks on it again just touching barely touching I think this section is also so far good just wiping out the corner yes perfect And although it's not that dirty, I have here also to clean. I will just gently clean it, avoiding any contact. Believe me, these are really sensitive. Every touch is leaving some marks. So far so good, perfect, now just to clean the around projector. I have one side is really dry and the other side is a little bit wet but really a little bit not that much perfect job is done